for the most part, <clears throat> um, well, <sighs> Germany wasn't invaded like that. Um, mostly, um, Germany was hit really hard by the blacks. Uh, like I say, Germany was pounded uh, relentlessly. I mean, but I mean, we took down hundreds of, of, of aircraft. I mean, Germany, I mean, we made aircraft, we made everything. And um, like I said, we had built most of America too. I mean, um, the, um, the Americans were attacking the... Um, the um we're attacking germany but they really couldn't really get a foothold i mean that there was uh there was no getting in i mean uh nobody had the had the had the 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 ship power or the military power to to scratch germany i mean we were defending for years and just basically um it's like so we get attacked every now and then um yeah, I mean, I, I mean, we basically owned so much and produced so much that, um, and there was no, I mean, for the most part, people would land on the beaches, you know, and we'd arrest them and then deport them or shoot them, depending. Um, there was no real possibility of them actually getting very far. Um, they would just, um, you know... Until I came to America, and I was in America, there was no attack on, on Germany. And by then, you know, it was basically, Germany just pretty much uh, just let, you know, the the Americans walk in to Germany. And there was no real, I mean, what people know as, a, as Germany, I mean, being attacked, like, um, you know, that was when I was over here in America. That, that Germany was attacked, and there was starvation in in the in the camps. There, there was verifiable starvation, and for, and in that, the the what what happened is the black people had basically taken over in Germany. They had moved on in, and basically were pretty much you know forcing Germans to do whatever they wanted. Um, when I came to America, um, basically a bunch of black people had basically snuck in and come up through, like I said. It took them years. It took them like like forty years, or like or longer actually, uh, almost lifetimes of of times for them to actually get into Germany. And by then, you know, we were actually almost in the modern day era. We, we, you know, it was it was way. I mean, by the time they got into Germany, it was it was a long time. I think, I mean, if I remember right, I mean, and they had just and they just basically, um, they finally, you know, they they used. Um, they basically used citizens. They came in from the back, basically. You know, black people basically went into... They used black people in in, uh, in Germany to pretty much let people into Germany. And then they started fighting and started attacking and started coming into the middle of Germany. And we were... Well, like I say, what happened is they did a pointed attack. But they had attacked They, they had attacked from Spain. There was this long war from Spain where, 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 uh, where Africa was constantly attacking up in Spain. And Spain was being turned into a war zone. Like, uh, I mean, it was nothing but a war zone, a huge war zone, and um, and that's when blacks came in from from the from above the thing, about you know to the um, to the right of of Germany. And like I said, um, we knew what, what was going to happen, and so we we um, you know we evacuated to America, and and we had been evacuating to to, to America for quite some time. So when so when the American troops finally did come, well, they might have attacked Germany, but I think they were actually attacking the black people and pushing them back. Like we didn't have the resources to uh, to do as I mean, we could actually have, have, have we held out for quite a long time. We had all the oil we needed, all the oil, everything we needed. I mean, pretty much JFK or Jimmy Carter. I mean, they wanted to to do this attack in, in, into Germany, but. You know, and quite a few few people died, but quite a few people, I believe, should have been evacuated by then. I mean, America was pretty much full of refugees by then, um, and pretty much the the fighting was actually going on in in China as well. I mean, there's basically a uh, pretty much an attack going on everywhere. Um, it's this massive war by the time. Anyway. <sighs> 
didn't cut World War for nothing. Um, and basically, like I said, it was pretty much the all whites and all blacks. And there were, really weren't that many of them. I mean, they just had superior weapons. And, um, well, it took them forever to get superior weapons. And they finally did get superior weapons. And they mostly did it by, by attacking and killing uh, Germans or some other person. Including um, Japanese. We had much better we weapons. The Germans had really good weapons compared to everyone else. And, like, our allies had really good weapons. I think I like the Japanese. I don't know. I, I had quite a few groups I was training and trained. Although I preferred to, to have them research and develop their own weapons. But I would loan them some weapons. Like I said, certain weapons, like, like, the, lower, like the lower quality weapons, I would actually give to the Germans. So, but the Germans had quite a few people um, on their side. Like, there was actually quite a few repulsed attacks where, where Germans and, and Japanese actually attack, actually defended their base. Like I said, they would go into to my DP camps, and they were trying to get in my DP camps, camps to get the technology. They wanted the prototypes. They wanted the food and the prototypes. So they would hit the DP camps, and, um, and, and like I said, they... They managed to kill some Germans at a couple of them, but I mean, they um, the Japanese soldiers defended the, the the Germans because we were together. You know, uh, those those Japanese. Um, you know, later on, uh, uh, JFK and Nixon w w would say it was uh, it was what's called syndrome or whatever that, that, that the Japanese were defending their their their, their German soldiers uh, with their lives because, well, I mean, it's because so many German soldiers had already died. Like quite a few German soldiers had died, and then, um, and then, and then the and then the Chinese or Japanese um, uh, defended as well. So it's like both. I mean, um, whoever was was basically attacking both German and Japanese people because they were at the same base, and the Germans had been protecting the Japanese until they had gotten trained, and then. And then they both defended. The, I mean, they both lived there. It was their base. It was their city, their town. So, you know, it really wasn't like they were their friends. I mean, they fed each other. They talked to each other. I mean, Germans were, were multi-language. Germans knew seven languages or more, actually 20 or 30 or... Like, they knew pretty much all the languages. They could speak. Like I said, a German soldier could, could speak five languages and write four, three or four. They were they, they were super skewed, uh, schooled. I mean, all the Germans did was go to school. They knew almost everything about anything. They were way more way uh, just as advanced as America, if not more advanced. So the Japanese, you know, I mean, we fed the Japanese, we we clothed the Japanese, we we fought with the Jap. Well, I mean, we, we we fought with. I mean, well, I mean, on, they, they're on our side. So we we just were defending our home, basically, the Germans and and the Japanese. So realistically, it was just a couple of citizens that would go and some black people that would go and attack these places, and usually they would get killed. Um, it wasn't until the black people actually took a foothold in in Germany and Germany needed help that um, because they they had overwhelmed and basically snuck into that one like that we got breached on that one side and and the and the blacks were just basically marching through through uh Germany so everybody was running uh out and up into Poland and that's when and that's when finally the 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 Americans were 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 uh were let in because you know my other soldiers were were getting attacked from behind it was like a slaughter but there was escape routes and everything else, so the German soldiers should have been able to get down in and then just go through the mines to get out. But, you know, because they were being attacked from behind, uh, the, the, the defenses. And that's when the, when, when, when the, when the German soldiers had to leave and because they were, they were, the, the black soldiers were coming in from behind and then the white and black soldiers were coming in from the front. So it's like a pincer maneuver, maneuver. And they got down and left basically like i said the germans were 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 really organized and really a tough group they were not weak and like i said we had major major carpet bombing going on in warsaw and all over the place i mean we were under heavy 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 attack 
I mean, the German and the Germans were still like, 